the devil is weak and defeated before those who have knowledge of the truth and they practice the truth. Jesus said, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. But the truth only makes free those who obey the truth. The truth doesn't set free those who surrender to lies. When a person lives in lies, when they sleep around, they have addictions, when they give in to their fleshly instincts, when they give in to their fleshly desires, then obviously that the truth cannot make them free because they make the choice and they choose for lies and deceit. So people who allow themselves to be carried away by deceit are victims of the devil. The devil becomes strong in their life. But when a person decides, determines, they say, I do not accept this situation. When they give a shout of independence from their weaknesses, from their frailty, from their negative thoughts, from their feelings, from their desires, from this self-commiseration and desire to receive pity from others, oh, poor so-and-so. When a person desires this type of things, they are then giving in to the devil. They are giving in to the strength of the devil. They are strengthening the devil in their life. And God becomes weak in their life as well. When we strengthen the devil, we weaken our God. When we strengthen our God through obedience to his word, by practicing his word, then we weaken the devil. This is how things work in life, dear friends.